Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to the ocean and hopefully use our some sort of scuba de gear that might be on board. By the way, this place slows, slows down on the actual um, Nintendo DS, so it should slow down here normally. Yeah, this is pretty normal-ish. Maybe it's a little slower than normal, but here's some octo balloons, and yeah, we're in a bubble, so that's our scuba gear. <laughs> I'm gonna try and recover my health from those pirate ship attacks. Well, I should say cannon ship attacks here. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. They will start firing at me. That is an ocean octorok. Yeah, you don't want to mess with these bad boys when you're this low on health. I'm just gonna go and uh, take a lefty there, there we go. You don't really have to explore all the tracks, but I can do so on the way back, I guess. Maybe, might be. Oh, I scared the fish! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, octa balloons. Oh, maybe I should just draw my route here. Uh, so, let's go straight to the Ocean Temple. Yeah! <laughs> but, will you be able to go straight to the Ocean Temple? Eh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, there's a lot of tracks going around. Up. Did you just go out of the water? What the poop? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think this place is supposed to slow down because, you know, we're, we're underwater. And I just realized I'm not in full... Not at full power. Dang it. And where are my hearts? I, I could really use some hearts here. <laughs> and if only, if only destroying the signpost would allow me to get hearts. If only. But no. I gotta rely on the oct. the. <laughs> octo mines and. Ah! Ocean Octoroks. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, 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 shoot. So you can't let them get too close, otherwise they'll start shooting at you and you gotta deflect their, or shoot their projectiles down. Yeah, shooty, shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Come on, give me a heart, give me a heart. I'm tired of this beeping. <laughs> Dang it! Well, the red rupee is okay, I guess. <laughs> Still not ideal. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> oh, we'll make it there. Oh, we'll make it there, even on one heart, because the ocean area here, while seemingly pretty dangerous, is not really that dangerous. <laughs> okay, so now we've got an issue going on here. Uh, I would highly recommend changing a route. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. See, if you start aiming for that, that train will spawn, and that's an armored train. You cannot shoot stuff at it. Well, I mean, I guess you can. But it's, it's completely armored and it's impervious to your shots, unlike the Demon's Train slash Dark Trains. So you've got to take the long way around. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's... Well, I don't know how this fire is still burning that well underwater, since isn't this a coal-burning train or, train or something like that? I don't know. I guess it's a magic train. That's, that's why. And also, do not change your speed to normal speed, or you may regret this. <laughs> Um, you can take either route here, but I don't really think it's necessary to take um, the, the, the yeah I don't I, I think the yeah I was gonna say I think the other train will spawn and you have to avoid it over here. So yeah, you can choose whichever route you want to take. I took this one because I have a higher chance of getting more uh, octo balloons and stuff like that. I think from this area because it's more more towards the middle area. And I thought eh maybe I could get some hearts and stuff like that. But no, no, you're not gonna, not gonna give me any sort of drops like that. Uh, the, but then again, I suppose the only thing that's really being dangerous here are the uh, ocean octorocks, because, yeah, they, they can shoot after a while of being out in the open, and yeah, I, I just take care of them before they take care of me. But the, all the other stuff is one hit kill, regardless of what your health is, so. Yeah, you just might as well uh, just keep on going if you're if you're at one health. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's it's on the other side. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, there, our main focus here just just follow the route to the Ocean Temple on your own while defending yourself from the Ocean Octoroks. Ooh, this is not looking good here. Okay, there we go. I got a hit off of it. 
I think whenever you hit it, it, like, resets the timer of their attack or something like that. It just feels like it does. It seems like it slows down their advances. <laughs> or something. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, a little too close for comfort. Now, obviously, I'll, I'll check those other routes, or, or show you those other routes a little bit later on, so if you'd like me to, I can do this to mark said routes, and, uh, why is this so far off, though? <laughs> well, okay, fine, I'll just do it like that. But yeah, that should not, I don't think that's supposed to be that far off, the. Ah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, see, it does it does push it off the screen. I don't remember that doing that in the original. Although, come to think of it, I don't think I ever marked on my map in the ocean, because there really isn't all that much to collect down here. So maybe that's why I never noticed that before. I'll have to actually check my DS later and uh, see if that's a thing. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have avoided the train onslaught, we can enter the Ocean Temple, because strangely it will not spawn one right in your face, which I would probably do if I was trying to defend the temple with something, and just kind of like let you let you blow yourself up, or just leave a train there for all of time, of eternity. <laughs> so here we are at the Ocean Temple. You ready to go on in, Link? I mean, you ready to go on in, right, Link? Eh, not yet. Uh, isn't this your third temple? You'd think you'd be better at planning by now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually ready to go on in. Uh, anything to recover health? No, I guess not. Well, not that we need it, but, you know. <laughs> I was just kind of curious. Okay, it's the health recovery stuff is seen near the beginning here. So you're going to see it. There are these uh, posts sticking out of here. And the dungeon item will help us with this. You can see boulders coming through here. You are not getting through that, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> down is death, and they are certainly going to take you to that down. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I touched you. I touched you. Don't, don't tell me I didn't touch you. Whoa. Dang you, dang you, dang you. Freaking 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 freaking. Okay, so read these. The first is above here, so you make a mark. <laughs> you can't really see it on the map that well because it's a still in sensor mode. <laughs> Third, so we doodle that. Actually, I probably, uh, actually I can't doodle on the other floor, can I? Because I haven't I haven't been to the other floor just yet. Or can I? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, you can't change floors on your map until you've actually been to said floor, but. Yeah, so uh, an easy way to probably remember this rather than the numbers is to probably just like draw a symbol for yourself. Like just think of this symbol instead, you know, starting over here and ending over here. I think that would be the easiest way for some people to remember it over than the, the number. Now these spear guns, don't even worry about them. Just as long as you're far enough away from them, you can just run right on by. <laughs> Um, that'll just tell me that there's some chests that are on the floor that I can't get at this moment anyway. Uh, oh yeah, the um, uh, stamp station is behind here. <laughs> yes, behind the bottom of a wall. There are locations, sort of on the elaborate side. <laughs> uh, oh no, I, I, oh, I can't get through this right now, that's right. I need the dungeon items, so I'm gonna make a mark to come back here. Yeah, I forgot there was a little bit of dungeoneering to get to get to that area there. Now this is a point where your uh, shield will come in handy, so whip it out. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, you're probably gonna take damage trying to dodge these on this little little stone here. Now. Um, this is a point you get out your boomerang, and remember your symbol that you drew? Bloop, 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 bloop. See, isn't that easier to remember than the numbers and north, south, east, west coordinates? I think so. Now, if you were to fail doing that, all of these, um, will shoot at you at once on all the sides of the rooms, which means, you know, you'll probably take damage from that. Now, here's something interesting. Watch this, watch this. So you close that off. You can't get through that way, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> so what do you do here? Well, you open that back up. You go over to this side. Get out your boomerang. Doodle a line around. Whoops, I didn't lock on to the... See, I told you, if it doesn't lock on, it won't hit it. <laughs> then you do that. And then what happens is that it redirects the boulders. And then on the lower floor, 
you are able to go through the Boulder Brigade because they're now entering at a different location, if that makes sense to explain it now. You'll see when we get there, though, I assure you. <laughs> Alright, by the way, you'll know- oh! I did not mean to do that. By the way, you'll notice that they push you a little bit back every time you take a hit from them on your shield. So, you might want to keep moving yourself a little bit forward if there's a lot of spears coming at you. Because, well, you know, you could get knocked off the edge, so... That, that, but that should be pretty obvious. Just gotta be observant of your position as, as to where things are and whatnot. Okay. Now look at the boulders are spawning. They're spawning, like, in the middle of the air, because they're not spawning here anymore. Which means you just flop right on through here. Ow, thorns! Oh, uh, there must be some way we can get through this. There must be some way, but... We can't right now. But we can't. By the way, those snake blocks on the ground indicate a hint to something. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go up. And... Uh, don't need that really. <laughs> I'm just kind of ignoring those now that we know the dialogues are copy pasta -ed. And oh, oh, I didn't mean to grab that, but that's okay. Got some extra bombs there. That's kind of kind of nice there. <laughs> bombs are sort of kind of scarce in a way. That's so like kind of like, eh, ooh, nice bombs, nice, nice. I like. I think that was the first bomb drop we've got since we've gotten bombs. Uh, I'll save those for recovery in case I need them later, because a boss is coming. It's known as Snapper. Because it's got a whip. <laughs> oh no! So what you gotta do is wait for it to pull pull it pull towards you and then you oh, and then you attack him. If you try and run away, you'll pull towards you anyway, and then you'll take a hit. If you and your items are locked, if you try to go closer, oh, yeah, he'll, he'll automatically whip you away. It, like, so that's why you gotta wait for him to pull you and then attack him with your sword uh, while you're being pulled towards him. I just mistimed it on that first time there. That is okay, though. It doesn't take that much damage. And already, we've got the dungeon item. <laughs> remember those snake block? Well, snake tiles I said to remember on the ground because, well, their hint says to something. Well, 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 they relate to the dungeon item's appearance. It's the whip! Yeah, it's a snake! <laughs> Tap the screen to give it a crack. Tap and hold objects to latch onto them and swing from them. Tap and hold certain flying objects to hitch a ride. And that's, we don't, we pretty much don't need to change all that much now for the rest of the dungeon. <laughs> I think I want to go this way first. If I recall correctly, oh yeah, we are Indiana Jonesing it up. <laughs> or if you really want to get retro, pitfall-ish. Because they're, they're, the ropes are already swinging. Three handles sit before you, pull only the one furthest from your grasp. You may mark that on your map if you want, but I, I, I have confidence that you can remember that. <laughs> Alrighty, and look at this. No more issues with swords and boomerangs with yellow choo-choos. Just whip it. Whip it good. Oh, I didn't, and you can also grab stuff, yes. Just like you can with the boomerang. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, so the furthest one away, and like before, if you choose the wrong one, you'll get speared, is this one. You know how the spears look like when they fire. I don't have to show you how the, the spears look like when they fire. <laughs> the only thing I had to show you was the boulder. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I decided to break those open. <laughs> I guess maybe they could contain treasure or whatnot. So yeah, this loops you back out and around over here. Now, this is like a tutorial that you can switch uh, sides with uh, the swords that you pull out of their mouths, basically-ish. You're supposed to think like, oh yeah, can you can you do stuff with that? Well, yes, you can do something with that. I got a small key, and I intend on using that small key. And oh wait, that's, that's the wrong part to start. Whip it good and around. There we go. 
And this whip can really get you around places pretty speedily, even when it comes to like defeating enemies and stuff like that, because of the, uh, by the way, watch your map so that you know that you're using this at the right time. Yeah, the map is useful again! Always nice to have that top screen right up there. Ooh, pirate's necklace, yes. Oh, you'll notice also, I forgot to point this out when I was in the battle with the Big Blin, is that uh, the Big Blin actually wears a pirate necklace. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a little throwback to being able to get pirate nexuses in other games. <laughs> because they actually do indeed wear them. <laughs> Alright, now we can open this with the key that we got. And yes, we, did, we just did basically a uh, X or a plus through the rooms there. I just did that quite efficiently. Now, um, pull this out. I'll open the door. That's like just a shortcut basically like this led over to that quote-unquote sort of kind of puzzle the one that was farther away from you and Now we got to do multiple ones of these at once. So be true with your touching <laughs> Just as long as you keep touching the uh, uh, The wooden beam you will be okay. Oh, man. Oh, man helmet choo-choos. What will we do? Yep, the dungeon item. You can even use their helmets against them by whip by whipping the helmets over to them. But if you try and attack them normally, yeah, they're helmeted. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, yeah, that was fancy. It was even off screen. <laughs> so yeah, you can even throw objects using your whip at enemies. As per the demonstration, that's a pretty good enemy to uh, teach players that too. Oh, another bomb drop, because when you're trying to whip an enemy, you're like, oh yeah, I just noticed I knocked off its helmet, so now it's it should be vulnerable, and you start tap whipping it like rapidly, and then you'd automatically end up throwing the helmet that's attached to your whip, and it's able to attach um, to the whip there because of the um, uh, the little teethies on there. Oh, I just realized something. I gotta go back to the uh, the lower floors because of the um, the stamp station as well as the treasures and stuff like that. Whoopsie doodle! Thank you for the shortcut then, there, game. <laughs> so I guess this was actually a more practical shortcut than actually uh, than, than just going back in general. <laughs> like it, like if you wanted to, I don't know, get a treasure chest or something like that. But I mean, obviously, you absolutely want to get the stamp station if you're going for 100 percent Uh, wait, I'll, I'll get that on my way back up. I'll just work my way back up from the bottom floor, I guess. <clears throat> like the the very beginning. Yeah, this is really, really out of the way, actually. <laughs> if you think about it, because I I was actually nearing the end of the the dungeon already, ish. Wood hearts, okay. Now, to get over there, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Why not? <laughs> oh, no, no, the pot's... Oh, that didn't block me, okay. I thought they were gonna make me go fall into the pit, but no, I just kind of plopped. I'm just out of range, dang it. I thought, but I thought, yeah, I just, just ended up plopping on the very, very edge. On the other side. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Now we can go flip-flop around this way, and oh yeah, that's right, you guys are active. <laughs> that's okay, no hits taken, all is well. Dragon scale, ooh, who knows, it might be a counterfeit. <laughs> like fool's gold. Alright, time to get that stamp at the stamp station now. Um, actually, um... Hmm, maybe I can't get that now. Uh, hold on a second here. Did I forget? Oh, I forgot the other part of the puzzle. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain why I forgot about this for a second here. I mean, in a second right here. See, there's this bombable wall that you can't tell it's bombable, but you can on this part of the map because there's two indicators that there's ways to get in. Yeah, but any, in any case, I still wasn't able to do this earlier, even if I did bomb that wall, because I still needed to whip uh, whatever I needed to whip on both sides to do my thing. There we go. <laughs> it just pops out like crazy. <laughs> just bloop. You can see it in the back of the wall. Just instantaneously. <laughs> Alright, now we can cross over. 
I gotta get my whip out again. Here we go. I guess I didn't need to switch. Oh shoot, that's not. I forgot to watch the platform. I was, I was going against my own, my own good judgment. Don't go, don't go out of my feet. Okay. Uh, do I have to go over there, or can I like just boomerang it? I'll just go over there. It probably requires a whip. Okay, it does require a whip. Yeah, clearly I'm not remembering this area all that well. <laughs> But only this stamp station area for whatever reason. The rest of it I'm doing pretty solidly at. Alright, time it well, time it true for me and you. And now he waits. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You can jump across when it's one square wide. There we go. I would like to stamp that book. What does it look like? It looks just like that. Oh yeah. It's only showing the top portion of the temple though. Ooh, ooh, I'm about to get on that before it ran away from me because otherwise I'd have to wait for the, the whole cycle to come back around again. And there we go. All right. There is our stamp. Now, um this way because <laughs> the other one you can jump down the hole where the boulders are going through but that ain't gonna help you you'll just fall straight down to the hole down below <laughs> um i don't have to use the whippers now over there but remember i said i was gonna come back to the stuff on the other floor over here and that i will do i really hope that this doesn't activate something at the at the later areas that i was already at because I'm going to be ticked, but I'm, yeah, I was pretty sure it was a treasure chest. <laughs> Wood heart. And they're so common, they're just everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Voila! Whip is such a cool item. <laughs> and I think that's all I need to clear out from the lower floors here, I think. Yeah, because I, I did that plus to get through these. And then I ended up over here and then i was like oh i forgot i need to go back because this is where i opened the door so i think actually because i'm going to be starting this room again from the start i'm going to end off the part here i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next part when i continue and most likely finish this dungeon yeah